Harper's fired police chief is now taking the village to court. His civil rights lawsuit coming just days after being let go. WGN's Dana Rebig joins us live from the newsroom with more on that. Dana. Well, his tenure at the Flossmoor Police Department was short-lived less than a year on the force there. Former Chief Jarrell Jones saying racial discrimination played a role in his termination. When the opportunity came up to return to an area close to where I grew up to become a new police chief in Flossmoor, I was thrilled, absolutely thrilled. Jarrell Jones was sworn in as the first black police chief of Flossmoor last March. Jones now suing the village and the village manager in federal court after his termination late last week. The mayor saying Jones firing was performance based due to what she called serious operational and administrative lapses under his watch. Jones attorneys allege it was race based. Chief Jones gained the respect of so many he worked hard to institute new policies and incorporated new technology into the office. And yet, at every point, at every turn, he was met with resistance and discrimination by the village manager. In the lawsuit are excerpts from the village manager's performance reviews where she criticized Jones' manner of speech, saying he doesn't speak plainly or answer questions directly, and that he spoke too long at a committee meeting, failing to follow simple instruction to be brief. In another section, she said Jones did not listen to management's direction when he reached out to the school district inquiring about security cameras. This is the, a, a, a black department head not meeting up to the expectation of a white administration because he's black. These are not legitimate performance concerns. They're race-based ones. Jones, a 17-year law enforcement veteran, served as chief of the Macomb Police Department before moving to Flossmoor. Other black police chiefs in the region now stepping in to support him. When this situation presented itself, our members of our chapter decided that just like we were there when he got sworn in in full force, that when he's being faced with these challenges that so many of us are faced with, that we would show up and support him as well. Jones' legal team is also asking for the village to release all memos related to his job performance. The former chief says he's willing to drop the lawsuit if the village publicly apologizes and reinstates him as chief. We did reach out to the village of Flossmoor for comment, but they have not responded. Micah. Thank you, Dana.